Hi, my name is Claire Ryan. I'm the coordinator of the Midwest Invasive Plant Network and also the Woody Invasives of the Great Lakes or Wiggle Collaborative. This video is about the invasive shrub border privet, sometimes called blunt leaf privet. The Latin name is Ligustrum obtusifolium. I'll tell you briefly about this species history and current status in North America, why it's invasive, and then we'll look at how to identify it in the field. Border privet is native to Eastern Asia, including Japan, the Korean Peninsula, and Eastern China. It was brought to North America as an ornamental plant. It's not clear exactly when it was introduced, but likely at least 150 years ago. It's used as a hedge plant because it withstands intense pruning and shaping. There are still a couple of cultivars in trade, but it's not terribly popular. Today it occurs outside of cultivation, mostly in the northeastern quarter of the continental U.S. It's hardier than other privet species, which are big invasive problems in the south and southeast. Populations are occasional, by no means ubiquitous. Border privet is primarily found in disturbed habitats like old fields and rights of way. Its shade tolerance, however, may allow it to move into habitat interiors over time. It spreads over distance by birds that eat the fruit and deposit the seeds elsewhere. Let's take a look at how to identify the species and tell it apart from lookalikes. Border privet is a densely growing multi-stem shrub. It can reach 10 to 12 feet in height, with its width often exceeding the height. Leaves are opposite each other and are elliptical or obovate. That's a fancy word, but it means the narrowest part of the leaf is near the stem and the widest part is near the end. And all the leaves have untoothed edges. Leaves are one to two inches long and about a third to one inch wide. Foliage color is glossy green with a somewhat leathery texture. It can have red or purplish fall foliage when the plants are grown in full sun. The flowers are white, tube-shaped, and fragrant, and form in drooping clusters in late spring or early summer. And then the fruits are round, purple to black droops that hang in clusters. They ripen in late summer and may persist on the plants into winter. The thing about border privet is that it looks kind of similar to several other shrubs, but not really similar to anything good. <laughs> it can look like burning bush, which is also invasive, but it doesn't have any corky wings on its stems and the leaves have smooth edges, not toothed like burning bush. Uh, it can also look similar to honeysuckles, but the leaves are glossy and leathery, which you don't tend to see on honeysuckle. And then it can look a lot like the other privet species, but all of those should be considered at risk of being invasive. If you have border privet on your property, we do recommend that you remove it and replace it. Border privet suckers aggressively from the roots if it's cut, so it's important to use a management method that will address the roots. Soil disturbance associated with management is also likely to cause a flush of seed germination, so watch for that as well. For replacements, there are several species of native flowering shrubs that can be trained into hedges, including southern arrowwood, black hob viburnum, and black chokeberry. To learn about control techniques and alternatives, check out our website, woodyinvasives.org, and please subscribe to our channel for more useful videos like this one.